Hello and welcome. Welcome to today's first opening of uh, Moodle Moot for Teachers, EVO 2014. Uh, this is Nelly Deutsch, one of the facilitators and mentor of the course for EVO 2014. And um, you're invited to add to the chat box, tell us where you are and anything else you'd like to tell us. Uh, use the chat box uh, in any way you wish. And I've asked some people to say hi, Nelly. <laughs> Uh, just to get the chat box experience, because once you get into the chat box experience, you're going to love it. Okay, so as we go, feel free to uh, keep chatting away and uh, connect with other people. That's what it's all about. This first session is about connecting and learning a little bit about how to navigate the Moodle in your first week. All right, so there I see the highs. Hello. That's the only way I see that quickly if I see my name. All right, so uh, I'm going to start us off. We've got uh, five facilitators all together. So, uh, so far, there are almost 600, yes, 600 uh, attendees, people who have enrolled in the course, uh, both on WizIQ and on the Moodle all together. So you're all going to be on the Moodle. So uh, get ready for that now. For those that are confused, there are two course areas and we'll be talking about that. Yes, uh, I, I have a feeling that it's going to be over a thousand, but that's okay because we've got five facilitators and everyone is a teacher, so everyone can help. I've just added the link to the PowerPoint presentation so that you can click on everything that has an underline. Okay, so you can click on YouTube playlist, Facebook group. We have a Moodle for Teachers Google Plus community. There's also a Twitter hashtag here, Moodle for Teachers Evo 14. The course syllabus, if you click on the link that I just added, let me add it again because nothing is clickable on the whiteboard. Okay, and also uh, week one and the live session is right here. So uh, we'll get started with a few introductions. But before we do, let's take a look at what the agenda is for today. First of all, a little welcome. And then um, we'll talk about profile updates, really important because Moodle is a social uh, learning environment where uh, it's really important to connect for learning. We'll also discuss uh, philosophy of learning. Ludmilla and I have uh, been talking about this for a number of years, and uh, we've also been talking about it with the other facilitators. Um, a little bit about the course overview. There are um, four areas, two main ones, the WizIQ course area, and the link is right here. Okay, let me share the link with you. I've shared a lot of links at the beginning, but uh, okay. So here's the link to the WizIQ course area. There's also the live online sessions that will appear in the WizIQ course area and on the Moodle. And then there's the Moodle student area that um, I'll be sharing with you uh, right now. Okay, so uh, this is you can copy the chat at the end, no need to copy anything now. And you also have the PowerPoint presentation. And there's the teacher practice area where you will be learning as you go. All right, and then we'll talk about uh, the introductions, how to get um, going by introducing yourself and navigating the Moodle course areas. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to introduce the uh, facilitators. Don't forget that this is all free and it's volunteer work. So all the facilitators, you know, I want to see a lot of claps if you go into the smiley for the facilitators. There are five of them. So there's one, two, okay, four aside from me. And, um, and they're do doing all this on a volunteer basis. Nobody gets paid for this. You don't pay and we don't get paid. <laughs> all right. So um, we've got Helena, Helena Bazen. She can pronounce her Polish name, I can't. Uh, Ludmila Smirnova, Nancy Zingrone, and Thomas Hodges, and myself, Nellie Deutsch. 
All right, so I'm going to give the mics to each one of them. We'll start with Helena. Helena, if you could just raise your hand, and I'll pass on the mic to you so you can introduce yourself. I don't see any hands up. Okay, so let me keep looking until I... I don't know if Helena's here. Helena, are you in the house? If not, let me pass on the mic to Ludmilla. Ludmilla, have you raised your hand? I don't see anybody's hand raised. Oh, I see, I see, I see. All right, so here we go. There's Stefan, you raise your hand. Thank you, Stefan, good to see you. I just learned about you and I'm really excited. Um, please update your profiles because um, that's how we connect. All right, so Ludmilla, I'll give you the mic. I don't see Helena for some reason, maybe she had a hard time coming in. Hello, Ludmilla, my dear friend. By the way, Ludmilla and I met, I have to say this, Ludmilla, we met in the chat box of Wiz IQ in 2008, I think, or seven. 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 <clears throat> Please introduce yourself, my dear friend. Okay. Hello, do you hear me? If you hear me, please yes. give me a smiley face or or thumbs up or so. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, it's a pleasure to be with you today. And uh, so I am, uh, uh, actually my background is I'm Russian, but I live in the United States and uh, love Moodle. So I started using uh, Moodle in um, 2007, I think, um, right after we met with Nelly. And so she was in a group of um, ed wiki educators. And that's how she engaged me. We already uh, knew each other because of Wiz IQ. And uh, during this Wiki Educator period, we designed a course model for teachers and invited people. And we had thousands of people who uh, joined us and uh, learned about how to use Moodle. It was a great experience. And even Nellie and I wrote a chapter. And in the beginning, we knew each other just online. We were virtual, virtual friends. And in 2010, Nelly uh, got her PhD, and uh, my husband supported me. And we drove eight hours to Penn State, I think, um, so peaceful Pittsburgh, uh, so to see Nelly's um, graduation. And that's how we met in person. And since then, we are teaching and presenting and collaborating uh, in person and online. So it's a pleasure to be here to uh, share our knowledge, our understanding of teaching online, teaching with Moodle. And uh, we wish you all the best, good luck, and uh, I love using Moodle because it, it really corresponds to my understanding of how to teach in general. And uh, Moodle was designed with the premise of constructivism. It's based on the uh, student sentiment um, learning. So that's why I love Moodle. And it has a lot of interesting tools and more and more are designed. And Nila, Nelly is really at the edge of this um, era of, of teaching and learning online. So it's a pleasure. And um, let's get together learning and sharing and caring about each other. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ludmilla. I see that uh, Nancy and Helena and Thomas are not here right now. So maybe they're trying to get in and it's kind of crowded so they're not able to get in. So we're going to continue. You'll learn more about them okay. when they I, finally come I online. I saw Nancy. Oh, you saw Nancy's Nancy? Nancy's here. I thought yeah. I saw her too, but I, I don't know. I don't see her anymore. So um, if she could raise her hand, that would be great. But she's not here anymore. I thought I saw her too. Okay, so let's get started. Um, as Ludmilla said, we're going to skip this for now. We'll get to it later, okay? 
I want to um, start with the profile. Okay, a little bit about uh, you, since this is um, a social, as we said, a social learning environment, uh, it's really important that you update your profile. And if you do, you get a badge. And uh, Elena's here, so she can vouch for the fact that getting a badge on Moodle is really exciting. A lot of people claim that they're more excited about getting badges than about their uh, certificates, their uh, PhDs, and their masters and BAs, and um, and so on. So uh, this is how you do it. You go into your administration on the left of the Moodle, and uh, you click on your name and then it'll open up and you'll see edit profile once you go into edit profile you get all of this information and i suggest you check it out but before you get started how oh, you got alexandra i got a badge that's great by the way how many of you did get a badge besides alexandra i know i got one did you get one ludmilla you got one okay so, um, oh, Nancy is here. She got one. Okay, I found Nancy. So let's um, get Nancy up here and uh, telling us about her badge and about her, sorry, about Nancy. You get a badge if you fill in all the information about yourself. Hello, Nancy. Hi, can you hear me okay? Yes? No? Well, I don't know. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I started with Nelly in 2009. So when I came along, um, Nelly and Ludmilla were already teaching, and I met uh, Nelly by um, taking one of her WizIQ courses, and then I got into Moodle for three or four times before I finished my first Moodle course. <laughs> So I got to know them very well. I'm a research psychologist with a PhD from University of Edinburgh, and I normally teach psychology and what was IQ likes to call esoteric psychology. Um, and I, I'm interested in the uh, scientific study of of psychic phenomena and people who have those phenomena. I'm not a teacher of English as a second language as yet, but I'm trying to get trained up, and I'm. Um, working on a course that I hope to put up on WizIQ in a couple of months. I've been volunteering for Nelly on and off for the last almost a little over four years. For the last four and a half years, I have been a volunteer. I love Moodle. It's a learning curve. Going to take some time, but it's so much fun to learn and it's so useful, and there are so many creative things that you can do. So we're all hoping that you'll sign up into the Moodle and enjoy it. And that's me. That's all I want to say. Looking forward to seeing you all in the Moodle. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nancy. Great, Nancy. Yeah. Nancy. Look, Thank Mila, you. I know you have to go because you're busy. So I just want to make sure that everybody is registered for the Moodle. Okay. There mm -hmm. are a lot of people that have not registered. So make sure that you go in there and register either during the class. That's okay. We let that happen too, if, you're, if you can manage it, or at the end. All right, so there it is. Stefan, I know you're registered. I commented on your introduction. That's excellent. Okay, so all of you who are there, please. Oh, Soliman, you have. That's great. All right, so make sure you register and update your, as I was saying, your profile. Okay, by going into your name or in, it could be at the top right of the Moodle course or on the left where it says online learners. Go into your name, and then you'll get all of this information. Now, I want to show you something else very quickly. This is what it looks like, all right? And um, this is your image, number one, your name, and you, this is the badge that you get, the star <laughs> for updating your profile. So it's really worth it, all right? So, Ludmilla, I'm going to go back now. I'll talk a little more about the course afterwards. Um, Ludmilla, I'm going to go back to 
the third, the fourth slide. Okay, so you can talk about sharing. All right, go ahead and I'll mute my mic. Uh, hello, hello again. Um, so what uh, we plan to do, we will be sharing with you um, how we teach online. And using Moodle, you can engage students in active learning. How? Uh, there are a lot of tools on Moodle, but um, uh, not, uh, you can get Moodle of different versions. Some, some tools are available only, for example, in Moodle 2.5, 2.6. But there are a lot of uh, Web 2.0 tools that you can use in order to engage students in active learning. And some of the tools we will be using, we will be focusing mostly on the resources and activities of Moodle. But at the same time, we will be sharing with you some of the tools that are available for you for free that allow um, engage, engaging students in active learning. And one of them is the uh, already posted on Moodle in the introduction area. We wanted you to introduce each other in a creative way. Uh, one of the tools that is provided and Nelly was um, generous enough and uh, quick enough to get this Poodle on Moodle. And she shared how to use Poodle on Moodle that allows uh, each other um, to use webcam on audio and introduce yourself using that. Um, we also uh, offered you uh, Flipgrid. It's a very interesting tool that you can use in the beginning of the semester for feedback. Uh, and in the end of the semester, students can give the feedback on the course, uh, recording themselves either using audio or video. And another tool, which is you see this map, uh, we uh, created, I created this thing link. It's a very interesting, we will do this activity today, but you can use this, you can use this um, uh, site thing link and create your account and you can use it using, using different activities, uh, assigning students activities using URL on Moodle and uh, uh, recording, uh, according to different topics, you can create and choose any picture, and then students can introduce themselves. They can share their ideas um, using different media, either picture or video or just a text. So that's what ThingLink is about. So you, uh, I provided the link, and uh, you can go there, but you can do this afterwards, uh, after the, this session is over, and try it out. It's really exciting. I posted mine, and I shared with you my introductory video to my student, to my courses that I will be teaching in the spring uh, using Moodle. So um, that's, that's what we wanted you to, um, we uh, wanted you to add uh, your name, to the map and uh, add anything about you. You can use the link uh, that you uh, use. Uh, you created introduction to Moodle. You can add the link to that particular introduction and and share it on this map. Adding your name, adding the country, but place your cursor. Uh, place your um, your um, um, so, for example, you can add, uh, I, will, I added USA here, but on ThingLink, I added the link to my introductory video to the course. And you can add the picture, you can add uh, YouTube, or you can add an image of yourself, but in the area of your country. So, uh, that's uh, the introduction, and also it would be great if uh, those who didn't register yet, you have to register to the course. And the first activity, and we always suggest uh, any um, teacher, any educator who starts um, the community of learners, you have to create this bonding of people 
uh, in the beginning of the course. And these activities are really um, interesting, ice-breaking activities. This is one of them. And three, two, one activity that also allows people to uh, share what they are. And it was great to see uh, people who uh, used Flipgrid and shared their expectations of this workshop, uh, told us about themselves and their uh, two things about uh, what they expect from the course and uh, one thing that they want to be surprised with. That would be great if you share this on Moodle. All right. Uh, I see somebody already posted. Um, wow, great. So somebody already posted something on ThingLink. I got the notification. So that's great. Okay, Nelly, we can continue. We can move on. Great. So um, thank you, Ludmilla. That's a great activity. We're going to bring, Ludmilla, we're going to bring this back, if you don't mind. Um, we'll come back. And this map uh, which exists okay In this is uh, from Moodle class yeah okay Nelly yeah sorry I just wanted to say that we're going to come back because uh, this is a really important uh, aspect the social aspect of learning together is really important we're going to come back to this map Ludmilla next time people are going to add the stars on the Wiz IQ class for example yeah. Ludmilla you can take a star now and add it to the map. Anybody else would like to do it just for a second? Anybody who's familiar with WizIQ um, can do it right now. So um, let's see if anybody is familiar. Who else can do it? I can do it as well. So if I go into Smiley and in the, uh, okay, I can add, notice I'm from Greenland. Okay, I just added a star to Greenland. Okay, can you see that? So we can use this map later on so that people can add where they're from. Okay, we'll do that next week. All right, so let's go back to, okay, we're going to go forward now and talk a little bit about Moodle. It doesn't seem to be going. I don't know, it's stuck, Ludmilla. Is it stuck between the two of us? I can't move anything for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, I can't move the screen. You're moving it. Let me try. You are, you just moved yeah, let it. Let me try. Here you go. The oh. next one? No, 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 don't here, move anything. Here you go. No, no, if, if you leave it alone, <laughs> I'll be able. We can't move it at the same time. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay. All right. So, uh, first of all, a little bit about Moodle. Moodle is like a box. That's how I describe it. It's a box. And the box has three sections, all right? In other words, you can put things in the box. You can put things on the left side of the box, the middle side of the box, and the right side of the box. But that's Moodle. It's just a case. And inside this box, we put a lot of things, and we organize them in such a way that we know where we're going, our students know where they're going, and uh, it works. It really does. Moodle started in 2003, so it's been over 10 years uh, for Moodle, which makes it... Can you hear me, by the way? You can, right? Because I can't use my mouse. Okay, I know why. All right, I can use my mouse now. Um, so with a lot of developers, it's now working really, really well. All right, so uh, first of all, it's important for you to update your profile. And as I said, here again, you can see that Moodle is divided into three areas. And your profile is organized into two sections. One section is your profile by itself. And the other one is your profile in a course. Now notice there are two different things. The way your profile looks when you go into it in a Moodle website is not the same as it looks when you are in a course. Okay, so there are two things, your profile on its own and your profile in a course. So in a course, your profile will have, okay, if you look to the left, that's without a course. In the center, it's with a course. 
And some of you have asked about blogs. Okay, you'll be able to add your blogs to the Moodle. And you'll only be able to see this when you go into a Moodle course. You will not see this otherwise. Okay, this blog menu. So the blog menu you only see when you're in the course. Otherwise, you'll see what's on the left here. All right. If this sounds very foreign, you'll have to, first of all, register in the course, and then you'll be able to see exactly what I see. Okay, because everything that you're seeing now is from the perspective of a student. Now, what's great about Moodle? Some of you have asked, well, you know, I could use Google, I can use Facebook, I can use uh, any other learning management system. Why do I need to Moodle? Well, one of the reasons why Moodle is so special and unlike any other is the fact that it has a tracking system. Now, when I say tracking system, um, have you heard of a Big Brother is watching you? Just give me a thumbs up if um, you've heard of a Big Brother is watching you, or you've read the book, or you know something about it. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you have. If you want to know where the thumbs up is, it's in the smiley. Okay. All right, so see lots of thumbs up. Okay, great. All right, that's what Moodle does. Now you may say, well, isn't that unethical? Well, you know, for teachers who want to control things, uh, Moodle is very, very controlling. In other words, a teacher, or whoever has the rights of a teacher, is in control at all times. But it's not only the teacher that's in control, the student is in control too. In other words, you can get all kinds of information about yourself that you might not know as a student. You can go into your profile, for example, and um, notice here when you go into your profile, you're able to look at today's logs or all logs and you get all this information. I got this information as a student. So I can find out the date when I was there, my IP address. <laughs> okay, and if you want to check what that IP address indicates, uh, let me go to the slide before. Ludmilla, are you still here? My mouse is acting up. Ludmilla, can you go to the slide before um, this one? I seem to be having problems. I'm going to have to refresh everybody. So um, in the meantime, you can go in and register for the Moodle if you haven't already done it. Okay, so uh, I don't think you're even getting sound right now. Uh, at least I know I'm not. Okay, that's a good question. I have lost everything. All right, so um, I'm trying to refresh. Okay, I've refreshed, so everything should appear just fine. Seems to be that my internet... Okay, sorry about that. Um, I had, yeah, no, it's okay. I had to ask with the learners. 
I had to and ask. And a uh, kind of classroom environment. So that's why WISAQ is used for people to get in touch with each other through this environment. That's why. Nelly, do you hear? Yeah, I hear. I'm fine. I had to ask my uh, family members to turn off their computers so I could have uh, more bandwidth. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I'm back and everything is fine. I just had to refresh uh, the page. Yeah, I saw that question about where's yeah. IQ, and I'll explain that in the uh, discussion forums, okay? So please use these questions, yeah. ask them again in the WizIQ discussion forums and on the Moodle, okay? Lots of support. So let me go back to the tracking system very quickly. You saw my IP address, which is this, and it tells me exactly where everyone is, okay? So Moodle gives you a map as a teacher and as a student. Lots of information on the Moodle, okay, that allow this to happen. Now Moodle, and I'll show you in a second, the tracking system shows you and the teacher, both of you, you know exactly where you stand, whether you have viewed the discussion. Okay, notice in the green, it's view discussion, while in the, in the blue, it's add post. In other words, Moodle knows exactly when you were there, what time you were there, your IP address, as well as whether you were just looking, viewing the discussion forum, and where it is, which is on the right, or whether you were actually writing something. Okay, so this is something you can't get anywhere but on Moodle, this uh, log, okay, of what you do. Okay, Ludmilla and I are going to now discuss a little bit about our philosophy and why things look the way they do on the Moodle. You can create the course in any way you wish. Um, many teachers simply Something, dump. Uh, do you hear me, Nelly? Again, Nelly. What? What is the problem? I, okay. no, I hear you, Ludmilla. Yes. Uh, okay, but you were frozen. For I was. No, I see my. Maybe I was frozen, but my voice wasn't. I can see the voice going up and down, which shows me that I'm talking oh. and everybody's hearing it. All right. So, okay. Uh, courses can be done on Moodle in different ways. You can add content to the course, and have your students just read the content um, and not interact with it at all. Or you can add the content to Moodle. In other words, you can put in the box lots of content, and you can organize the content in such a way that your students interact with it. And this is called your philosophy of education or your philosophy of learning. So we're going to ask this question, what is your philosophy of learning? If somebody doesn't have sound, it's their problem. It, they're going to hear this um, in the recording. So I suggest they go to, if you don't hear, Ludmilla, if you don't, not just Ludmilla, if you don't hear, uh, write. I hear. Yeah, I know. <laughs> write to. I hear, but. Yeah, um, support at. Support at WizIQ. I took my image off. WizIQ.com. Okay, forget my image, just the sound that I'm interested in. Right now. No, I don't hear you. But um, I'm here. You, you. Okay, let me take you off. Video? Okay, let me take you off so that everybody will hear. Ludmilla, can you raise your hand for a second? Yeah. Okay, raise your what hand. Is... Yeah, I want you um, to take off your camera there. Okay. I took off your camera okay. because um, it's taking a lot of okay. bandwidth. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to be talking, Ludmilla and I, about our philosophy of education and why we um, designed the course the way we did. Okay, so first of all, Ludmilla mentioned before that she likes Moodle because of its constructivist nature. How many of you have heard of constructivism? Now, if you could just give me a thumbs up. Constructivism. Yeah, I took the video off. <laughs> you want to see me? Okay, here I am. I took the video off because I thought it would be better uh, for the bandwidth for everybody involved.
uh, that's okay. All right, so we have. Um, Ludmilla, let me bring you back. Okay. Uh, the way we've designed the course is for you to discover things because we believe that uh, people learn because they want to learn. You will not learn anything unless you want to learn it. Okay, nobody can force anybody to learn and there has to be some kind of a reason. Um, and the idea is that you will be curious. Now the question is how do we get participants or students to be curious? and to want to learn, to ask questions, to want to explore, and so on. Okay, these are some of the questions that we ask. And we've been teaching uh, these Moodle courses for a number of years. We uh, learn from the participants and uh, how we can cater to their needs, because it's really about you. It's not about us at all. And as teachers, we hope that you will follow the same, the same philosophy of catering to your students as opposed to uh, catering to you as a teacher. Okay, right now this class is about us because we're trying to tell you things. But on the Moodle, we have a chance to allow you to explore and ask questions. So the, the course was broken down into topics and another course area where you explore and you're able to learn through explorations. All right, so uh, thank you. The magic of finding things out. Thank you so much, Sanjay. That's the idea. Welcome back, Ludmilla, sorry about that. So. The idea, I was just mentioning how the course was designed. I don't know whether you heard me or not. The idea is inquired based learning of discovery. I, I heard. Oh, you did? Wonderful. And asking questions. That's one part. The other part is not only the curiosity and the wonder and the wanting uh, to know. The next part is what do you do with the knowledge? You're going to forget it. You're going to forget Moodle unless you practice. And practicing, use it. use it, exactly. Practicing automatically doesn't do it, but active learning with artifacts does. And that's where Poodle, Ludmilla mentioned Poodle, um, developed by an English teacher, by the way, uh, Justin Hunt from New Zealand, who's been living in Japan. And uh, Justin will be talking about this at the Moodle MOOC, Moodle MOOC 3 is an audio and video recorder, but it's not just that. It's also uh, a whiteboard and games and all kinds of things. The idea is to produce and teach others as a way to learn once you discover things and share it. Because if we don't share what we learn, we're gonna forget it. And it's not exciting, everybody wants to share. And then of course there's move mode. And the idea is to learn together. So you don't have to do the work by yourself. You can do it with others. All right, um, Ludmilla? Yes, uh, well, I enjoy teaching using Moodle because it allows really bring out students' talents, uh, allows them to express themselves but it, of course, it's a lot of uh, engage. It, it engages art from uh, the point of view of a teacher because you have to think through how you will engage students in learning, active learning. And there are a lot of tools on Moodle that allow to do this: forums, choice activities, questionnaires, surveys, database. Um, and all these tools allow, give students roles and creating groups on Moodle 
and assigning students projects. Uh, Nancy uh, mentioned inquiry-based learning, but also uh, project-based learning, um, discovering, questioning, really how to ask questions that uh, sparkle students' interest and motivation to answer those questions and ask their own questions. How to engage blogging for students to reflect on their learning and comment on other students' blogs to learn from them and share their, your own learning. It's, sometimes it's interesting, my students are against uh, blogging, for example, in the beginning of the course, but in the end of the course, they say, wow, I couldn't even, I never booked before, but when I started blog, I really enjoy doing this. It really brings me back to repeat what I learned, reflect, and um, apply to what I uh, am going to do in my own classrooms. So these are really important things, and I think uh, collaborative learning is very important. How to engage students, what projects to give, what uh, problems uh, to give them to solve, so that they would uh, that would initiate their own uh, interest and motive for learning the subject, and then share this uh, learning with each other and uh, with the class. Nelly, thank you, thank, thank you, Ludmilla. Let me bring back my, there, my webcam, so nobody thinks I've uh, disappeared. Nelly, do, yeah, I do can I, hear, yeah, yeah, there's a delay. Yeah, I'm here, there's a delay. I'm going to have to take you off if you keep saying, frozen Nelly, again. Nelly, I'm but, not frozen, I'm not, it's your system that's frozen. Uh, I turn off my Yeah, video, it's your so system, that's... yes, it's frozen, Ludmilla. All right, so can everybody hear me? Just give me a yes to reassure Ludmilla that you can hear me. Wow. Give me well, a hello. thumbs up that you can hear me. I know you can. All right. Yeah, I want to, time is flying. This is the first session. The first session usually takes longer. Uh, so we may have to extend the class. With Mila, can you finally hear me? No, you can. It's my. No, I don't hear. You should be able to hear me. With Mila, can you? Yes, okay, time great. flies very quickly. Okay, I just want uh, to when you are interested in what Mella, you are do I... learning and what interests you as a topic. So um, you see here is uh, Mella, Nelly was Mella. supposed to. I'm speaking, but you don't hear me. Course overview. Can you hear me? So we have. Uh, do well, I scream? Like course air, Mella, I'm here. Almost, so all materials are posted. I hope everybody can hear me because I know I can hear myself. In the end okay, of the, each week on um, live online sessions where we can really hear each other, hear each other exchange and share uh, learning. But most, most of the time you will be uh, working on, on Moodle and whether you will explore topics. There are resources, there are tools there where you can be can learn and then you will apply what you learn uh, to uh, to what you okay just let me know in the chat box if you can hear me now I think everything is fine uh, there's a delay okay I'm frozen I don't think I'm frozen I think you guys are frozen um, I it's Ludmilla that's frozen. Uh, I froze her. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Ludmilla, let me try again. Okay. All right. So let me uh, continue since um, this will be recorded and the recording is working just fine. All right. So as I said at the beginning, the course is divided into two main areas. One area is the okay. One area is the Wiz IQ area, and the Share. other area is the Moodle area. You don't Elaborate. hear anything. You should because we know. 
we a minute Uh, me. So it is. All right, I'm trying to get back into class. Uh, it should happen very soon, hopefully. I really, really am sorry. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> so uh, I apologize for technology, even though I have no control over it. And uh, let me continue where we left off a very important part of the course, and that is... I hear a dog. Okay, let me take everybody off so that, um, okay, I don't see who else is on right now. Um, okay, Suba, sorry about that. And all right, so just let me know in the chat. I presume you can hear me because I can see it going up and down. I'm sure everything is fine now. I try to contact support and uh, things should be working well. All right, so again, I apologize. There are two very important parts of the course, and that is the WizIQ course area. And someone asked, why have two areas? Why not have just one? And the reason is that Moodle is a course that doesn't stay forever. Once the course ends, everything disappears. People disappear, and they're not there. WizIQ is a place where we can continue working together and sharing the content. The live online classes are on the WizIQ server. We're talking about servers here. So it's a very technical thing. Moodle is on a server too. And you have to keep that in mind. It's just a website on a server. The WizIQ classes will be able to stay on the server, on the WizIQ server, forever or for as long as WizIQ is around. The PowerPoint presentations and all the other content information will be on the WizIQ class area. PDF files, YouTube videos, and so on. You'll have a chance to view all of these in the courseware. The course feed is a place where you can ask questions relating to the live classes and the content. The live classes, such as this one, are being recorded. So the same link that you join is the same link that will be the recordings of the class. Moodle is limited. The teacher practice area is limited. Once the course is over, I may keep it for another month, but then it's going to be over, done. And WizIQ is unlimited. So that's the reason why we have the two forms. Okay, don't forget that these courses are free and hosting and servers cost money. So we need to economize and that's how we do it. All right, so the first week, your assignment is to introduce yourself easy enough and it's a way for you to learn about Moodle. You'll see the editor of a Moodle and how it works and the whole idea of the discussion forms on Moodle. You'll also learn about the book activity or resource. For you it's an activity but it's actually a resource and you'll have a chance to go through the book resource and learn about the navigation tabs and the support form. If you look at the Moodle course 
and here's a video that I shared with you in the course, you will see that the course looks like this. You can minimize the sections on the left and on the right of the box. Remember, Moodle is a box divided into three sections. We dump things in the center, but there are also things on the left and right. And sometimes it's a lot of information. So you can close everything on the left and right, and you can open it when you wish so that you don't get distracted and you can focus on the center. The practice area. All right, so let's take a look at the tabs. Thank you, Elena. Take a look at the tabs. This is the book activity. It looks like a book. You start here and you click on the images in the book and the video is there too. All right, the tabs. This is week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, and then the live meetings. If you click on the tab, the live meetings, you'll go into a list of all the meetings and the time in your time zone. Facilitators, you get a list of facilitators. Course syllabus, you learn about the course syllabus. And then there's a teacher practice area. After this class today, Elena, everyone who is also enrolled in the practice area automatically will be given teacher rights. And then you can start working on week two. <laughs> you can actually go at your own pace. We do not limit you. All right, so I think that's, hello, Dr. Ramesh Sharma, good to see you here. All right, so take a look again. This is when it's open. Notice I closed the left and right, and now it's open. So when it's open, it's hard to focus on the center because there's so much happening on the right and left. All right, so let's continue. Okay, this is how you introduce yourself. And the secret? to moodling is click, 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 click. Don't be afraid to click on the brownish red areas. So all these brown areas are clickable and there's a lot of information there. So click, you cannot do any damage to the Moodle. Trust me, I've been working with Moodle since 2003. That's 10 years. A little over 10 years and nothing can go wrong all right so feel free to click away all right and introduce yourself through poodle through text through flipgrid you're free to choose it all right books and resources on moodle notice this is a free book i've shared it but i've also added it as a pdf for those of you who can't seem to open it all this is clickable, remember, I shared the link with you at the beginning. So when, before the class ends in a couple of minutes, feel free to copy chat and you'll get all of this and you'll be able to click on it. Okay, because in the recordings you can click on uh, the links that I've added at the beginning of the session. I don't see them right now, which is interesting. Uh, but they should be there. If not, I'll share it with you once again. All right. So books hosting, and uh, because Moodle, as I mentioned, is hosted on a server, it's a domain that you host on a server. And the reason that we're using WizIQ is because WizIQ servers are very powerful, much more than the servers that I use. All right. But if you're interested in using the server that I use, you're welcome to rent a Moodle course. Okay, if you're very keen on having your own course, let me know and I'll let you rent a Moodle course for yourself. The Moodle practice area. Okay, notice that you can go into these areas. They're completely free and you can test out Moodle 2.6 if you're interested. And you can also learn how to be the administrator of Moodle if you're interested in Moodle 2.5 and 2.6. So that's a little bit of extra information for you. In addition, tomorrow, January 12, is the kickoff for the Evo sessions, and you're invited to join. There's the link, but uh, let me get 
all this for you. Okay, so that unless someone has it, does anyone have the link handy to the PowerPoint presentation that we made available on Google Drive and we made it public for everybody? Anybody have it available? If not, I'll get it from my Evo on Google Drive. Okay, for those of you who don't use Google Drive, I highly recommend it. It's a great way to keep everything available. It's a great storage place and a wonderful way to share. And that's what it's all about. All right, it's about sharing. And I see a lot of you are there already. So you must have it or somebody must have just added it to the chat. If not, here's the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, thank you, uh, Subra, for adding it. I appreciate that. All right, so notice there's the link. If you go into that link, you'll get all these active hyperlinked words so that you can go into these places. And join us tomorrow. You'll have a chance to uh, hear me talk and Ludmilla and anyone else who's going to join us to talk about Moodle for Teachers Evo in 2012. Are there any questions? I'm just going through it here. Again, I'd like to remind you to update your profile. Are there any questions? I see that you stuck to it, you know. That's really nice of you to wait while things got back to normal. And I see that we also have um, people sharing. That's great. What is LT Pod? Is that Poodle? Carol, good to see you. Do you mean Poodle? Yes, Poodle. Oh, Poodle is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Go into the course area. Highly recommended. If you go into the course area, and let me share that with you, the Moodle course area, okay, where you are supposed to register. Okay, let me just make sure that you are enrolled in the course. How many of you enrolled in the course? Just give me a thumbs up so I get an idea. How many have... Uh, ver oh, Elena, why are you verifying your email? Are you using Facebook to um, enroll? There's no reason for that. Thomas, you'll have to do it. All right, very good, Lisa. Laura, excellent. So, Thompson, what is the problem? If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, all right, here I'll add my uh, quick email. Okay, it's just nellydeutsch at gmail.com. Poodle. Yes, Poodle is amazing. If you Google it, you'll be able to get it. I believe it's an open source, completely free. You can add it to your Moodle. You can also add it to your website. It's being developed, so it's getting better and better all the time. It's a way, it's a recorder, but it's not only a recorder for your audio and video, it's also other things. It has a whiteboard, it has games, it has a timer. It's just, um, it was developed by someone called Justin Hunt from New Zealand who lives in um, Japan right now. He's an English teacher and also um, a software developer. And he's just an amazing person. He did all this for free. And only an English teacher could think that way because I've been looking for this for years. So Poodle is just a recorder. It's on, it will be on the editor right now. You need to go into the video on the editor and you're fine with that. In order for us to introduce ourselves in Moodle, we have to click on, so it'll drop down list where we, I'm not sure I understand. You're talking about Tammy. Oh, it's not, it's a tab. It's a tab. Uh, it's over here. Here's the tab. I can screen share. I think I've got time. Okay, it's a tab. You go into week one and then you start here. But you know what? Let me um, share that with you. Okay, um, let me go into the session, share it with you, and then you'll see what it's all about. If not, 
live than at least in the recordings. All right. So um, everybody ready for a ride? Let me know if you're ready to go on a ride. <laughs> Nancy's ready. <laughs> you're ready. <laughs> All right. Let's see if uh, this works. It may mean that everything disappears down to the bottom left hand side of the page. So if it does, don't get scared. All right. And um, you may find that things are at the bottom right. Okay, so um, be ready for that. Okay, so let me uh, screen share. I think I can start. It looks like it's ready. Okay, let's uh, let me know if it's working for you. Okay, let me go to um, the site. Tell me if it's um, available. If you can see that, no, you can't. Wait. All right, you can't yet. All right, let me know if you can see it now. Okay, it should be working now. So uh, let me go back to class and tell me if you see this page. Okay, Nancy, maybe I should add you as audio. Hello, Lorenzo. Good to see you. I see people are raising their hands. That's great. Uh, just give me a thumbs up if you are able to um, see that page. Yes, yes. Okay, let me go back to that page. It may take time, sometimes it does, to initialize. Okay, so this is the course. If not, you'll see it in the video that I'm uh, recording now and will be uploading to YouTube. Okay, so this is it. This is what you will see. Okay, this is start. So you click on this book and then you just follow. There is the video. Okay, just follow the arrows as you go until the end. Okay, if I want to go back, notice where I go back. These are breadcrumbs. I'm going to go back to the course. Okay, this is week one, week two. These are the tabs. It's not a drop down. They're just tabs. Okay, and then there's week one. Week one, these are the brown areas. Okay, the brownish areas are the clickable areas. Don't be afraid to click there. You can't do any harm. It's not like you have to knock on the door before you go into a room. Okay, everything is open. No need to knock to ask, may I click? No, you click. Click everywhere. All right, so you go into introduce yourself. Okay, there it is. There's the video again about Poodle. Okay, and there's Carol introducing herself. Now, notice in order to get a badge at the end of the course or a certificate, if they let me at Evo, which they won't, but at least to get a badge. You'll have to uh, not only add a new discussion topic and start your own okay, discussion, but you'll also have to respond to others. And some of you have responded so many times that it really made me feel good. You know, we like our students to um, participate and that's called participating. Okay, so you go into someone and you respond. Okay, this is Marco. He just joined. So I'm going to respond to Marco. I'll click on reply. I'm in as admin probably. Okay, and then I'll wait a few seconds until the editor appears. And if I go into Carol and others who want to use Poodle, if I go into insert Moodle media, I'll be able to get this. I click on the find or upload a sound, video, and so on. And then on the left, I'll be prompted by audio or video. I want to do a video, okay? And then wait. Be patient. Wait. Don't click on next, okay? And then I click on allow. Hello. And then when I'm finished, I click on this and then stop and then next. And then wait a few seconds and then click on this beautiful green poodle. Click on allow. Select this Hello. file. Wait and a few seconds. Finished, I okay. On wait. The, insert. And then, now don't be scared if you only see this. And then, don't be discouraged. Go next. down and post to forum. Once you post to forum, you can edit it for 30 minutes. Okay. And then I go into it. There's Okay, let me show you what I did. Are you ready? And this is it. Okay, and this at the bottom, this arrow, just means that you can also uh, download it. Okay, that's to download. If you click on it, 
you'll get me talking. Okay, I'm going to delete me because I don't think this is very appropriate. So there, you can always delete what you don't like. That's what's nice about it. You can delete your stuff. You don't like something, delete. You can't delete anybody else's. Only teachers can do that. Let me go back to class. Stop screen sharing and ask you, was that helpful? Were you able to see anything? If not, you'll see it in the recording. So, um, oh, Thomas is here. All right. Um, let's get back to the introductions. Uh, I'm going to um, see if I can get everybody in here so we can introduce you. Okay, let me uh, make this larger. Okay, Ludmilla, I can see you properly now. Sorry. Okay, let's see who else. Um, Nancy, there we go. And Thomas, I hope you have your mic. If not, at least we can see you. Helena, is Helena here? I don't see Helena there. Ludmilla, we're back. I only see a pillow. I see Nelly is in twice. That's interesting. I'm in twice. Hmm. Okay. I'm in three times. Oh my gosh. Okay. There. Nancy? I've given you, um, Clive, Clive, I love that, frustration, okay, frustration is um, a very important part of life, and um, people forget, teachers forget, that control is not always possible, uh, hi Ludmilla, can you hear me? that being in control is not, you don't hear yourself, we hear you. That, you know, it, technology is just like anything in life. Either it works or it doesn't. You know, we either work or we don't work. I don't feel we get like sick, we don't even know why. We don't have control. So why is it that teachers feel that when they get into a classroom, they have to be in control. You know, this is a myth that I've been trying to uh, help teachers with and help people with, that we're not really in control, so why go nuts? Okay, let's get back to, uh, you yeah, know, I see I lost uh, audio again. All right, are you able to hear me? No, you can't hear me now because it seems to go. All right, you should be able to hear me now. It's really loud and clear. Hope not too loud. Um, right, you can hear me. All right. Uh, no, you lost it again. No, you can hear me. No, you can't. No, you can't. All right, now it works now. It doesn't, I mean, it is. Um, nothing is perfect. Nothing always works. You know, as soon as we accept that, um, Learning could be a lot more fun and failing is just the first step to success Because if you don't fail, how are you going to succeed, right? So um, Frustration is a choice We have a choice whether we want to be frustrated whether we want to take things hard or whether we want to go with it and try to make the most So that's what it's all about well, I'm glad you learned a lot today, Carol, because I learned a lot too, not only from you and from the chat box, from the whole experience. And what I've learned is that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And what's in between is important. So Nancy, I've given you rights. Thomas, we can't hear you. I don't know why I've given you rights. We see Ludmilla's pillow or something or other, but we don't see Ludmilla, and Nelly seems to be in twice, and Subha seems to be in, I don't know why. So feel free to ask questions, and if you'd like to speak, and you know that your mic works, I can give you the mic. Thomas? 
Thomas, I'll try again. What is the duration? Well, the class has ended. I extended it to about three hours um, because I was trying to click away when I lost um, control of the class because for some reason something happened on the server, not my end. Um, and I think that's very important because um, technology works, but it's still dependent on servers and servers and the internet which depends on domains and servers is not perfect and as long as we don't reach that perfection or at least we don't have high-speed internet and everybody has the same kind of um, connection we're going to have problems um, with these live sessions which is why Moodle is great because when you can't have uh, a live class you can respond on Moodle at any time so um, please feel free to um, ask your questions on the Moodle I hope that everybody will join uh, within the next hour how many have not joined yet that might be more interesting and the recordings exactly are the same links as um, the link that you joined to get here. So Thompson, I'm waiting. Oh, hello, Charles. Uh, good to see you. Yeah, we extended the class. Uh, there's the link, Charles, to the Moodle course. Please join. And uh, Susan? The joining process is very easy. You simply click on the link. It'll ask you to create a new account. You have to sign a um, policy that you will behave yourself. <laughs> okay, and then the rest uh, is easy. You just sign up. If you have problems signing up, please contact me. I'll be glad to help. Since I'm the admin of the Moodle, I can also sign you up. Okay, so I can do it all for you. If you're having a lot of problems, just email me at nellydeutsch at gmail.com and I'll sign up for you. All right, so it doesn't have to be a problem. By the way, you can also ask your admin or anyone to sign your students. So signing up is really um, difficult for some people. Everybody manages with Facebook, but it does get difficult with Gmail too. Remember that to sign up for a Gmail account is not that easy. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess signing up for Moodle could be difficult for some. So let's see. Julie says I can't find the bit that says add a new discussion topic in order to introduce yourself. What system are you using, Julie? Let me take the. Um, let me share the uh, link with you. Okay, so for the rest of the time, actually, I'm finished. We're going to keep this open for questions because I think these questions are very, very important. Okay, so for, um, let me share the link with you. Okay, so right now it's support for anyone who needs it. And okay, let me take Ludmilla off. I don't think she knows that I added her. Okay, so there's the link to the discussion form. Let's see, Julie, Windows 7. No, no, I meant so you're using a PC. That's fine. You should be using Firefox. Um, if you don't mind, I'm using a Mac and I'm using Safari. I can use anything. I can use Safari. I can use Firefox. I can use um, anything. I can use Chrome for the Moodle. For some reason, I can use Explorer too. Uh, I don't like Explorer. And I think it's very slow, but you know, it's up to you. Opera is fine too, uh, Stella. 
chrome is also good so uh, Julie you might want to, I don't know why you're not seeing it but it could be that um, Explorer is giving you a hard time in any case please email me again nellydeutsch at gmail.com and I will help you with anything worse comes to worse um, I'll sign you up or I'll um, help you with the um, discussion forms share your screen often it makes more sense when I see oh that's excellent I'm glad to hear that Carol so were you able to see just give me a thumbs up if you're able to see the screen as I was sharing I love screen sharing so I'm glad to hear that that you were able to uh, get something out of the screen sharing I actually prefer it that way excellent yeah Mozilla Firefox is very good for Moodle because you know why because Firefox is also open source so if you're on a PC you might want to use Firefox otherwise on a Mac Safari is fine all right thank you Dennis thank you for joining us Dennis have you uh, created your account have you enrolled in the course uh, Eva tomorrow Emma is just a um, it's just a kickoff uh, it's just you know it's nice to be together kind of thing you know um, that's what I say it's just a kickoff you'll learn about other courses okay so uh, if you have any questions please every single one of the weeks okay if we go back to the weeks okay to the tabs every single one of the tabs has has a support area so please ask questions add your support question respond to one another Oh, you just signed up. Excellent, Charles. Good for you. That was fast. You're getting good at signing up. <laughs> All right, we do have to sign up for everything. I know my my high school students hate it. Do we have to sign up? Yes, you do. You know, once they're on Facebook, that's it. They don't want to sign up for anything. But yes, you do have to sign up. Tapas, you'll be able to view the recordings. I'm also going to add the YouTube video that I uh, took without your names or anything it's just the um, and you'll see the mess in the middle oh that's Arabic beautiful I don't know what it says though there's no Google Translate here I could copy it so uh, please write in English so we know what you're saying all right thank you so much everybody I'm looking forward to um, connecting with you to learning together and everything in between my job and the facilitators job is to make sure that we answer your questions so please ask 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 and ask okay because we believe in your questions your questions are going to make you a great moodler all right everybody is so happy mood link and it doesn't end in five weeks okay this is going to go on and on uh, we're going to have a, uh, a course afterwards to continue learning together so that we can support you afterwards as well so thank you everyone sorry I couldn't get Tom uh, back to speak thank you thank you thank you and um, don't forget to ask questions okay there it is again call me Nelly Maria it's n-e-l-l -L. oh you got it <laughs> okay thank you n-e-l-l-i-e -L -L -E. exactly and I see we've got uh, Sabur there that's his imp or Tom Tom we see you oh my gosh Tom you're on we don't hear you but we see you there's Tom that's great we can see you next stage is to hear you all right thank you Susan that's of course Susan of course you once you uh, create uh, an account on the Moodle 
on Moodle for Teachers, you can go into any of the courses. First of all, there's no enrollment key to this course, to Moodle for Teachers EVO 2014. And so yes, the first thing, Susan, is to get a create an account. Once you do, you can join all the courses that are there because all the courses will be free. Okay, whatever course is going to be on the Moodle, okay, which is um, MoodleForTeachers.org, is going to be free forever as long as I'm around anyway. Okay, so everything is going to be free there. Not all the time, okay? Uh, we have three Moodle MOOCs a year. Okay, Moodle MOOCs a year where we teach Moodle for free. And we have the Moodle for Teachers Evo once a year. Okay, so there are, you can learn to Moodle three times a year for free. All right. Now I just hit the courses, Tom. All the, the old courses are hidden right now. Okay, they will be deleted eventually. Okay, so we're going to um, close the class unless um, you have some questions that you'd like to ask now. And I hope, Alexandra, that modeling this free learning will contribute to the collective intelligence and other teachers will also provide free professional development courses. I think the teachers should be teaching one another for free. That's my belief and that's uh, what I've been doing for the past 15 years or so. I don't think teachers should be charged for learning to improve instruction and learning. Okay, that's where I come from. And that's why all this is free. Yeah, the next meeting is next week at the same time. Nancy's going to be uh, leading that on the resources. We'll be talking about resources. You may uh, continue, you know, you may go on your own. We have not limited you. You can go on to week three, four, and so on. All the tabs are open. Okay, so feel free and you'll be using once I complete this class in about an hour, all of you will have teaching rights. Okay, everybody will have teaching rights so that you can start working on week two. Because you will have to go into the uh, teacher area in order to respond to weeks two, three, and four. Ah, the dates. The dates are right there, by the way. The dates are in the course area. So Thomas has also added a calendar. Okay, but if you go into um, the tabs and into um, the live meetings, and I'm talking about the course. No, that's the, um, I don't have the course right now. Does anybody have the link to the course? If you go into the course, you'll be able to see the live meetings. And that's, uh, if you click on it, you'll be able to get a list of all the uh, meetings. Okay, let me get the link for you. Okay, there's the link again to the course. Oh, there, Alexandra also added it. Thank you, Alexandra. And you notice that every course has another number. Uh, the teacher practice area, everybody who enrolls in the course is automatically added to the teacher practice area. But right now you're in the students. I'm going to change that and make everybody a teacher once this class is over. But I think that before you go in as a teacher, you should first introduce yourself in week one. Okay, really important to get the feel of Moodle as a student before you start exploring it as a teacher to avoid confusion.
Okay, so I would focus this week on the main course area and not in the teacher practice area, unless you've had some little experience and then you're fine with that. En français, okay, pour avez-vous donné de certificate assisté de la nous avons besoin. Oh, you need the certificates. Okay, I understand French. I, I probably sounded horrible there. Um, yes, uh, Kadij, you will be able to get a certificate, but we'll keep this between us after the course ends because uh, Evo does not allow us to give certificates. But I never do what I'm told, so um, I'm saying this openly. Uh, after the course is over, at the end of week six, so to speak, uh, you'll be able to get your certificates. Okay? Off the record. Yeah, I am naughty. You know that, don't you? <laughs> well, that's how I teach. I mean, that's how I'm, that's how I am on in my school too. I do whatever I want. Don't listen to anybody. But don't all English teachers do that anyways? Right? I think every English teacher is pretty much uh, a teacher on their own. They do what they want, right? Yes. Uh, most teachers need to present something to the places where they work. Okay, that's not a problem. Just don't tell anybody. Let's keep it between us. You see, Moodle has a certificate feature. It's an activity, actually. It comes with a Moodle. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do it. Okay, which makes it a lot easier. Will we get it? Okay. Tech. Officially, no. Unofficial. Wait and see. Do your work. Okay. Uh, this is part of Evo. And Evo does not. Evo is TESOL. Evo. Okay. Evo is completely free. TESOL is not. Okay. So, um, Evo is Electronic Village Online. Are there any other questions besides what I can't really say? Like certificates, I'm supposed to say no. Yes, you'll get badges. Nobody said you can't get a badge. And that's also part of Moodle. Okay. And once you um, update your profile, you will get your first badge. And once you complete the course, you'll get another badge. But you have to do all the activities, which means that you have to respond to the discussions for each week. There are four, I believe, Thomas, am I right? Four discussions. Okay, one discussion for each week. The first week is the introduction, the second week is about resources, the third week is about activities, the fourth week is about blocks. Week five, you have to prepare a project. All right, so that should be exciting. If you want the PowerPoint presentation, I'll add it to uh, the chat. Okay, so that you can take a look at all the links that are available. I think that's it. And take the badges. The badges are for you. People say that they're more, they're happier with the badges and with the certificates because a badge, well, you'll see. And you'll tell me at the end, what do you prefer? Certificates or badges? All right, so we're going to close shop. Okay, and again, thank you for joining. Keep asking questions. Wow, I see 51 people are still here. Wow, that is amazing. You are amazing for sticking uh, out all the tech things, and you're still here. Well, you deserve claps and stars and everything that goes with it. Thank you so much. There. Thank you. Okay, now that we're ending, if you want to copy the chat, copy the chat is just below the, it's in the chat, at the top of the chat.
and you'll be able to copy. Thomas, are you going to do it for us? Thomas usually does it and adds it uh, to the WizIQ course area. Okay, so I'm going to give you a second to copy. Let me know, give me a thumbs up if you copy the chat and I'll end the class. Okay, so let's see how many people will there be recording. Yes, of course, everything is recorded. Everything, everything is recorded. Better seeing you face to face, Charles, than online. You know, once you see someone face to face, online just doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to meeting all of you face to face, <laughs> right? I mean, you know, it's better to see people in the flesh, in real time, real life. Okay, so thumbs up if you've taken the copy, take the copy chat, and you may leave. Oh, where can you find it, Rosie? Um, just at the top of the chat, it says copy chat. It says chat all. Just, no, that's for me. Copy chat. If not, Thomas will get it for us. Okay, so um, also uh, here is the link to the PowerPoint presentation. I think that's even more useful than the chat. Okay, because you can click on the PowerPoint. All right, so thank you everyone. Bye for now. See you next week and see you on the Moodle. So happy Moodling and this will be on YouTube.